We started at Fairfield Christian School simply because we don't believe in the concept of cookie cutter education. I wasn't really getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one with the teacher. The class size was about 60 per class, and I wasn't really doing well in class. Never lacked the ability to do school well, but just lacked the focus and the concentration. We've searched over the years for a school that will help us to reinforce our Christianity, and we wanted that foundation for Kyra. Kyra has always been a really good student, and we wanted to challenge her. She is very academically intelligent, but was in a system where she was not able to tap into those strengths that she had. When Joseph came to us, it had a lot of transition in his life, I, truthfully a lot of loss, a lot of heartbreak. I kind of felt like I was maybe a bit of an outsider. He was someone that probably would have fallen off the radar in any other school. We knew that it was time to move out of the special needs school that Taylor had been in. Uh, Taylor came to us uh, struggling. In fact, it was actually told by the teacher that she most likely would never graduate high school. Good morning, Fairfield Christian! Yeah! All right, you guys have a good week? Yeah! Who's going to bowl the best game of bowling that day? Right now, we're about 130 students, preschool all the way through high school. We've got an incredible staff here that loves these kids. I love the adventure of learning, especially through the kids' eyes, to know that what I'm doing now in the classroom is helping to build them into the person that God has planned for them to be. I love watching students grow. I love what education means, passing on a worldview and knowledge and resources and skills to the next generation. After seeing a more conventional classroom, was just more convinced than ever that that's not the best way to do school. We began to look around Fairfield, no Christian schools for high school of any kind, uh, only one school that went up through sixth grade. And so in 2009, our board made the decision to start a school. The teachers want to be there. They want to be there, they want to teach you, they want to love on you, they want to help you. And I never got that before. The classrooms are small. It's nicer because you get a one-on-one -on -one connection with the teachers when you, need, when you need specific help. If someone is falling behind, then they'll tell the rest of the class, okay, settle down, you guys work alone, take some notes, and they'll come over and they'll help you. Their focus is to help students excel individually at their own pace. It's a computer-based school. All of our classrooms have projectors and whiteboards and a software we call Splashtop that allows our teachers to project the lessons up on the screen. Teachers are interacting with students, having great discussions. We still have the classroom setting, we still learn in class, but we get to go home and do our work online. Everything we learn in class, we can take home with us and it's right there in front of us. You log in, it's like, whoa, everything's right there. It's organized. I was so used to having like four textbooks and like 30 different notebooks. Ignitia truly is that tool that comes alongside us. It allows us to make sure that every single child is successful. Our main focus is to view each child as unique and approach that child where they're at. From the very beginning, we diagnose student abilities with the Ignitia system. We design curriculum that's tailored around those abilities. I love that about our school because not one single child in my class is the same. They each have different things that they're good at and different things that they struggle with. I learn from the students every day, especially those students that are kind of the outliers, the ones that aren't average. We've seen students come in who many times are behind two or three years. Uh, sometimes kids come to us and they're right on where they should be, but they're just academically bored. Kyra's done amazingly well. She needed to be challenged. Well, they challenge her to maximize her potential. So, do, does each level of consumer, they eat everything that's important? When Taylor came on board as a freshman, she was behind in terms of grade level coursework. Because of the way we set up our programs, we were able to reach her. By the end of her second year, she closed all gaps. And by the time she entered her junior year, she was right on target. Taylor blossomed. And uh, last year, we saw Taylor graduate, walk across that stage. 
When Dylan came to us, he was a bit of a knucklehead, and even his, uh, his mom would agree with that. He helped us develop a lot of our policies around homework. We got to meet Dylan right where he was, challenge him, hold him accountable, to see what uh, has happened in his life over the last few years is just amazingly uh, rewarding. We're at Full Sail University in Orlando, Florida. In our back lot, we have our own little, little city back here. Joseph is a, is a sharp young man, and he just needed someone to believe in him and to believe in his abilities. 